Grunting, Ayaka pulled on the ropes attached to the wolves they had killed. She looked at the others to see their miserable expressions. Even Tanaka is having a hard time. Ayaka sighed. Behind Tanaka was a large pack leader she had killed, in addition to the numerous horned rabbits doing her solo hunting before helping Ayaka and the others. Though she'd be set for food and lodging, the older woman didn't have a happy expression on her face. I wonder if we'll be able to reach the town before the sun sets. Ayaka continued walking forward at a sluggish pace while glancing at the sun that was approaching the horizon. In front of her, there was a sight of the farms and gate into the town. She sighed happily at knowing that they weren't too far away. It felt like they had spent hours just dragging the dead corpses of the wolves. After a grunt, Masio asked, How much do you think the guild is going to give us for all of this? During the entire time of pulling the bodies, Masio had been vocal as though talking was distracting him from the effort needed to keep moving forward. Hopefully, we'll get enough guild credits to get a room and some food. After this, I'm going to be filling my belly with much needed protein and fats, Kawa said. Who would have thought that I'd be thinking about food so much, considering I tried to avoid it just to keep my figure? Hearing Kawa's words, Ayaka giggled. I mean, I love eating food, but guys prefer their girls being on the slimmer side. Kawa complained. You look great as you are. Masio tried to defend Kawa's words while huffing from the exertion. Kawa rolled her eyes at Masio's comment. Nodding, she said, thanks. While they talked about what type of foods they missed, it wasn't long before they reached the farms and then the gate. When they reached the road and other adventurers were coming back from their jobs, they stared at Ayaka's group with all the animals they were dragging. There were whispers and laughter, especially from the adventurers who had a cart designed for carrying monster corpses. How were we supposed to know that we were going to run the wolves on our first job? I mean, we didn't even have the money to afford such a thing, even if we wanted one. Let alone a cart, our funds didn't allow for a sack for those horned rabbits. Ayaka growled in her mind. When finally reaching the gate, trying to ignore all the stares and gossiping, Ayaka was just glad that there wasn't a line of merchants waiting to get in. The people in line were merely adventurers, so she anticipated that it wouldn't take much time before they could enter. Releasing the rope, Ayaka wiped the sweat from her forehead. She then used her hand to brush back her hair, massaging her head. Finally, we can take a break. Mizuki smiled exhaustedly. Nodding, Kawa said, In a little bit, we'll be able to take a break and eat some food. As people were going through the gate, they'd have to pull the ropes and drag the bodies. Honestly, these monsters are pretty impressive, even after they've been killed, Tanaka said. I'd imagine that they would be damaged after being dragged for so long, but flipping them over, I don't even notice anything. It also shows how strong our weapons are, Mizuki added, petting her katana appreciatively. If we had the type of weapons in the real world, like the historical versions, I get the feeling that our weapons would have been useless even against a horned rabbit. <laughs>